Oh, I feel so good. Let me show you how to make fake hot coal right here on What you what you want? What you what you want? Welcome back to Unhinged Productions. Today, I made this super cool, and I'm fucking Today, we made this super cool fake hot coals pile. If you're interested in seeing how this is done, stay tuned. We're gonna need a scrap piece of insulation board, cardboard, pool noodles, expanding foam, orange lights, LED lights, different LED lights, sticks, tape, glue sticks, hot glue gun, black spray paint, white paint, gray paint, scissors, paintbrush, and some plastic wrap. What I'm trying to say, or the point I'm trying to get across is, uh, there's a whole lot of ways to do this little project right here. Uh, and you can do it with several different items. Flashy lights, not flashy lights, real wood, not real wood, whatever. The sky is the limit. On another note, I want you to know, this is not my idea. I didn't come up with this concept. Many people have done that. Wait, this isn't even your idea? Nope. And you're telling me we're not gonna use all this stuff I dragged out for you? Nope, we're not. Well then, what exactly are we gonna use? This scrap insulation board, a pool noodle, orange Halloween lights, spray foam, hot glue gun, some paints, a paint brush, some sticks, and a marker. First order of business to draw out a fire pit shape and cut it out. Now that we've got a base, we need some small scrap pieces. For what? You'll see. I'm going to glue these bigger scrap pieces into the center to raise it up. Then I'm going to randomly glue the smaller ones around the center. Why? So I can layer the lights at different heights. That looks like a waste of time. Can you just bundle up the lights? Look, this is going to add depth and detail. Dude, what? You're using tape. Yeah, so. You didn't list that in your final materials list. Dude, give me a break. Just saying. Now that we got that armature all done and ready to go, uh, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to both Oak Lane Cemetery and Van Oaks Cemetery. Both YouTube channels. Both guys do great, amazing things. Both awesome artistic uh, abilities. They both done some charred wood type stuff. Oak Lane Cemetery did his a little different using uh, spray foam on PVC. Go watch it, it's a great tutorial. Uh, Van Oaks did one out of a pool noodle. But I wanna come combine kind of both their techniques to do this to give us some extra charred wood on top of our hot coal. Hold on, now you're saying you ripped off other people's ideas? No. I'm saying I was inspired by both of them, so I'm combining their ideas to create these bigger burnt logs. Keep telling yourself that, loser. I took the pool noodle and cut it into different length pieces. Then I cut those pieces in half. And once those are cut in half, I trim them down a little bit further. Then I used a dental pick to tear off at the ends and along the length of the noodle to create this bark type of texture. Okay, I'll give you credit. Your execution's good. It does look like a piece of wood. Just too bad it's not your own idea. I said this in the beginning that nothing about this project is my idea. I'm just showing the viewers how I made mine. Well, at least you can admit you're using other people's ideas. Oh my gosh, you're impossible sometimes. Regardless, now we've got some cool looking wood to work with. It's fake wood. Oh, come here, you. Hey, wait. Get over here. Okay, moving on, just putting down some plastic wrap to protect the table. Before we add any spray foam to our project, I want to kind of slit in the back of this insulation board so that the electric wire comes out from the bottom. Now, if you read the instructions of the foam before you use it, you need to make sure that you shake it well. The first thing I did here was spray a layer of foam along the outer edge of the armature. Then I haphazardly sprayed foam over the rest of the armature, making sure that I covered all the lights and I didn't have any gaps left. Now it looks like a pile of dinosaur poop. Hold on, I'm not done. Now that we got the foam sprayed on here, we need to add our foam wood pieces and some random sticks. Now it just looks like dinosaur poop with sticks in it. Okay, whatever. Uh, now we just need to let it dry. Let this set overnight. Everything's drying up pretty good. Let's bring it. I mean. And look at that, it didn't, even, it didn't even stick. For sure, 
do this. This is nice. So yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot cold. <laughs> Like I said before, this is a super easy project. You can go about a hundred different ways with this. You can add bones, do whatever, just sticks, whatever you want to do. Uh, flickering lights, that makes it look like it has a more real effect. I've seen that type of stuff done. But anyway, now that it's all dried up, it's time for... Man, the paint on this thing is super easy. Now that it's based in black, I'm just gonna take some gray paint here and dry brush the entire thing. And then I'm just gonna come back and dry brush a white layer over the top of that. That's it. Paint is done. Once again, let me reiterate, this is not an original idea by me. This has been out here all over the internet for a long time. I just figured since I had to make this thing anyway, that I would just share the experience with you and have some fun. But look at that. This thing really, <laughs> I mean, that turned out, for, this turned out pretty cool. And you should do this. It's a whole lot of fun and it's super easy to do. Like I said before, you can you can go crazy with this stuff. Oh, really all you need is some, some spray foam, some lights some sticks it's really all you need but if you want to throw some skulls in this or bones or whatever you can just do spray foam and sticks from the yard you can do this uh with the pool noodle which is really neat again another shout out to uh, oak lane cemetery and van oaks cemetery those two channels i'll link both of the uh videos below um Oak Lane Cemetery did his out of uh, spray foam and made a gentle arch to it. And then did this, I like the way it looked. Uh, the one the Van Oaks did uh, was just a round pool noodle and he just kind of made one log that puts up inside. So I just used the idea between the both of them, but I used the pool noodle, cut it down to make something more like what uh, Oak Lane Cemetery did, but using the idea of the pool noodle that Van Oaks did. These are just so fast so easy to do if you're looking for something to throw in your yard to add some ambiance uh do this you know if you, if you got a witch scene with a pot whatever do this if you you know anything that's going to have a campfire whatever out in the yard do this do this it's easy it's simple it takes no time and it could be even cooler if you put some flicker lights in this you put some flicker lights in this thing is going to be epic they're going to be super cool uh, I want to thank all those Patreon members out there. You guys are absolutely awesome. I want to thank you guys for showing up and just watching. Give this thing a like. Subscribe. If you're new here, if you're new here and you think I'm not too crazy, consider subscribing. There's more stuff coming. You do whatever you want. I'm just glad you're here. Leave comments below. If you've made one of these before, leave a comment below. Tell me what you did or how you did it or the ideas that you used. I'm always curious to learn what other people are doing as well. But until next time, Keep making something from nothing.